Hello everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, this is Review 200. I cannot believe that I have been doing beer reviews for almost two years now, and because I just hit this major milestone, I wanted to do a really special beer for you guys, so I am reviewing none other than Firestone Walker Double DBA, and this is a 2012 vintage that was sent to me by my good buddy DJ over at DJ's BrewTube. Shout out to you, man. I will put his link down in the description, so make sure to go check it out. Subscribe, watch his awesome videos. Really, really cool. And while I am giving shout outs, I also want to give a big shout out to James Knott and the entire crew over at the Better Beer Authority. James and the guys just posted their last review. However, Richard and David Hartogs are bringing back the BBA. They're doing a continuation of it. So shout out to those guys too. Really looking forward to that. I also want to give a shout out to Paul at PA Brew News, Kevin at Clemens Homebrew, and Nick and Corey over at What Cheers. You guys are all awesome. Make sure to go subscribe to their channels and I will have them all, that's right, in the description. So what do I have for you? Well, as I mentioned, this is Double DBA, and this is basically an amped up version of Firestone Walker's flagship beer, DBA. They're calling this one an Imperial Special Bitter, although it's technically a barley wine too. That's basically what it is. So this has been aged in a combination of New American Oak and Bourbon Barrels for 10 months. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to finally be trying this, so let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. The first thing I get is just a huge punch of fruitiness. I get big, dark fruits like plums, dates, figs, raisins. I'm getting some cherry notes, some bright red fruit in there. Almost a type of fruity yeast ester like you get in some English ales. I'm getting some toffee and caramel sweetness, a little bit of like a burnt sugar or molasses type of note. Getting big vanilla, big sweet coconut, which is really, really awesome. I don't typically get that in beers, but wow. And then I'm getting some of that oak, not too much. And then I'm also getting a little bit of bourbon, but again, not too dominant. Really that big fruitiness, the big sweet notes are just popping out and I cannot smell any alcohol whatsoever so i'm already having a hard time believing this is 12 percent thank you guys for joining for, for 200 reviews and cheers let's go ahead and take our first sip wow <laughs> wow the flavor lives up to the aroma 100 percent the first thing I'm getting are those big dark fruits. So I'm getting the plums, the figs, the raisins, the dates. I'm getting this caramelized molasses type of sugar in there. Mm. Definitely getting the cherry note. It's actually a big bright cherry note right in the center there. I'm getting a little bit of a toasty bread, kind of a slight nuttiness in there as well. I'm definitely getting the toffee and the caramel. There's decent amount of that coconut. There's the big vanilla. There's a little bit of bitterness. It kind of helps it dry out in the back end, but definitely on the sweeter side. I am getting a little bit of the oak. Not too much, though. It's just a little bit. It's really blended in there. And then I'm getting some of the bourbon, but again, it's not a gigantic component as much as I think the big dark fruits, the big kind of bright red fruits are in there. This is just, wow. This is crazy good. I can see why so many people are like, you have to check out Firestone Walker's barrel program because this is so, so tasty. It's got a medium body, and it has a pretty creamy coating mouthfeel, which is nice. I get a little bit of that sugary, sticky glaze on my lips as well. And man, I tell you what, for 12%, this thing drinks really, really smooth. 
I mean, if it weren't for so many different flavors going on, I would probably be able to put this bottle down super, super fast. But because it has such a big, complex, robust taste to it, it's definitely a sipper, but man, I am super, super impressed. As far as a rating goes, guys, I am going with a 9.7 out of 10. This is obviously an A beer. I mean, you get all these fruity components, you get the sweet components, you get the barrel components all blended together. Nothing overpowers each other, but they just really all play off of each other in such a unique way. And they make this such incredibly easy to drink, balanced, bourbon barrel aged beer. Like, this is crazy stuff. This is awesome. So really, really happy I got to check this one out. DJ, huge, huge thanks, man. I really appreciate it. As far as my musical recommendation goes tonight, guys, I want you to check out a band by the name of Led Zeppelin. Now, I know many of you have probably not heard of them, but I want you to check out their 1971 record, Four. Now, many people know this record because of Stairway to Heaven, and while I admit that is an awesome song, my favorite off the record is When the Levee Breaks. That song is just badass. And if you are not a John Bonham fan, that song will make you a believer. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure to give me a like. Give me a bunch of comments. You know, I love getting comments. And I hope that I will be seeing you guys for another 200 or more beer reviews. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.